Jake here for American Trucks, and today I'm taking a look at these Rough Country neoprene front seat covers in black for 2009 to 2018 Ram 1500s with bucket seats. If your seats are looking a little worse for wear, a set of seat covers is an easy way to spruce them up. Whether it's a refreshed look, some added comfort, or just a way to keep your interior protected, these neoprene seat covers from Rough Country are an excellent choice. With a durable material, some added padding, and a snug fit, these are a perfect upgrade if your seats are worn out or if you just work your truck hard. Now, seat covers are a hard thing to get right, but when they are, it's amazing what a positive difference they can make. These covers from Rough Country don't have any uncommon or weird looking design, just a nice, plain, simple design to go over your stock seats. And the Rough Country logo is right up here at the top of the backrest, and they have this really good black color. Now, even if your interior is not black, these are still gonna look good. Since these are a direct fit, they also include headrest covers and they include accessibility for your side impact airbags here and your seat adjustments too. So there's no need to be concerned with safety or usability of the seats. In fact, I'd wager that having these covers on might even make your seats more comfortable. Before we get to the neoprene, it's worth taking a moment to point out there's also some foam padding under the skin of these covers. So this is four layer construction and it's gonna help improve your overall seat comfort. You can feel it when you take these out of the box. So if you put in long days in the saddle, you might want these covers for that reason alone. And if your seat is a little worn down on the padding side, this can help offset that issue without having to take the seat apart or replace it. But the biggest reason to go with these is that neoprene. That is really the star of the show here. Now this stuff is all kinds of cool and useful. Not only does it offer good looks, but there's also protection and weatherproofing baked right in here. Now neoprene is a material that's commonly found in diving suits and other types of waterproof garments, and there's good reason for that. It's water and mildew resistant, plus it offers a nice soft feel and good breathability. So if you get dirty on the job or you get dirty out on the weekend, you don't have to worry about ruining your truck seats with these. Neoprene is easy to clean and it's gonna keep your seats protected. So you'll be able to ward off stains, water damage, any other type of abuse that you can throw at them. This is an excellent material if you work or play hard with your truck and you can enjoy what you're doing with the peace of mind that you're not gonna be ruining your seats. Plus with that breathable material, you're not gonna run into the issue that often plagues other seat covers in that you're not gonna sweat to death in the summer when it gets really hot and they're not gonna retain the cold like leather does either. Pricing here is gonna come in right around $175. And for what you're getting, I actually think that's a really good price. Now going with a less expensive option may still save you some wear on your seats, but you're not gonna be getting all the added benefits that these offer. So if you want to have the protection and comfort without spending a fortune on new upholstery or a much more expensive set of seat covers, these I think are gonna be just right for you. Installation will also come in at a one out of three on the difficulty meter and should only take you about 15 minutes or so to get it done. You don't even need any tools here. These just slip right on over your stock seats and they clip in using all of the attached fasteners. Not much else to say here. So with that, let's throw it over to one of our AT customers and they're gonna show you the installation process. Hey everyone, we're gonna be installing Rough Country cover seats on a T-Long 12 Dodge Ram. This is how we're gonna do it. Now for these cover seats, they came with uh, some simple instructions on how to take proper care of them. We're gonna first install the driver's seat. Um, this is the back of them. We have some clamps here underneath. We also have some side clamps that we're gonna be dealing with. Uh, let me show you some kind of some tips to easily install these. And also we have the headrest. So yeah, let me get going. So to make this an easy process, what we're gonna do is clear off the seat and we'll lift it up. So we have a better way of working underneath the front driver's seat and passenger seat. Also, first thing first, we're gonna press these two clamps here down. I'm gonna take the seat off, this headrest off. Just like that. And I'm gonna do the other side. Press down, just smoothly lift it up, pull out. We're gonna take this to the other side. I'm gonna slide this thing on here. We're gonna make sure this tab is in front. Set down, kind of work my way. I'm just slide it in. All the way down. So 
so it can be snug on there. Make sure it's even. Set it up just like this. Pull the tabs here. I'm gonna pull these tabs. I'm just gonna lift up. Maybe first work one side and then work the other sides. We're gonna have these snug on here. Boom, that's one done. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So we're gonna slip it on. We're gonna try to get as tight as we can first up top. Push this thing all the way down. We're gonna make sure our clamps are on the outside still, they're not tucked under. I'm gonna tuck. Make sure these two are tucked down in so when I go underneath, I'm able to see it. That's as tight as we can going down. I'm gonna come behind the seats. Maybe pull down as well. All right. I think that's the tightest we're gonna get. Now we're gonna do the clamps. So now we're gonna take the clamps on the side. We're gonna try to fit around. And we're just gonna hook it. Not to the thing across, but it's on something light. So when we go to the other one, we can see it. So to make things easier, we're gonna loosen this up. And these are gonna connect to the two clamps behind the seat. We're just gonna fit it under so we can meet it on the other side. I'll show you what these things do to connect. All right, I'm gonna take these two. And with the other two I just put in, I'm gonna find it right here. I'm just going to connect them. Clear the clamp. Make sure you try to get above the wires. When I clamp them both, to make things easier, I'm going to start cinching down on them to make the seat tight for the other two clamps. You hear that pullback? Just making sure your cover seat doesn't get all wobbly when you're in the seat. All right. The hardest part is going to get the, the two clamps that's over by the middle to connect them to the clamps on the driver's side. I'll take one of the clamps. And I'm just going to connect them. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. So now we're going to take our passenger seat and put it on. Same thing we did for the driver's seat. as we can. I'm gonna come behind, do the same thing. Make sure these two clamps show. All right, come over here. Got clamp number one, clamp number two. So many clamps. Just loosen this up. We'll tie it up when we clamp them on. Awesome. Make sure they're up top so they don't get in the seat.
first. I'm gonna take these two clamps, speed them back, and just connect them. I'll show you what it looks like. So we have these here, and these connected here. The other end, I just tie it down. I won't make that noise. Here. So now I'm gonna take these two clamps. I'm just gonna feed it under. So when I go to the other side, I'll know where they're at. So I'll take this one, go around here, and feed it at a midway point. All right, do the same thing for this one. Now I'm gonna take these two, I'm gonna feed it down. So I can see it when I get down underneath the seat. I'm just gonna connect them. Lastly, we're gonna do this one. When feed iron is gonna be a little bit tough. You gotta go all the way back there. Find it. And if you lose a clamp, just try your hardest not to lose it. But if you do, just look back on there, see if you can find it. And just connect it. The reason it's so hard, because you want that tight fit on your car seat. But what we're gonna do now is start putting the headrest in. But before we do that, we're gonna tuck some of the side um, around the entry points. So we're just gonna move over here. Tuck it underneath. Do the same thing for this side. So it kind of looks like this. You can still press here. All right. So now we just line them up. Just press it down. Boom. Just like that, you have your seat. Now I'm going to skip back. Now I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side. Come here, press it down. All right, lastly, just line them up. Press it down, just like that. We have our seats installed. That's gonna wrap it up here for our review and install of the Rough Country Neoprene Front Seat Covers in Black for 2009 to 2018 Ram 1500s. Thanks so much for watching, and remember, for all things Ram, be sure to keep it right here at americantrucks.com.